Welcome to I Love Stocks. I want to go over a trade that I mentioned this morning in my recap pre-market alert video, and that's Nile. So let's get right to it and check it out. I'm going to go ahead and do the recording that I did this morning, and then we're going to talk about it. So we'll keep a good eye on it. We're going to look at Nile. Nile right off the bat. This is my SMA chart that I use a lot. I like got my RSI on it just to see if we're oversold areas. But I think with the news that's coming out here on the electric cars, I did have a pivot point area in the 20 day channel at 43.67. We almost pulled right back to it. I think we can pull back to this lower support on the 20 day. And that's right around 38.64 and 39.58. Now we did fail the 200 SMA on the 20 day and the 50 is crawling down. And if this crosses down over the 200, we could have this dip down here to right around 38.64. I'd like to see that hold. If not, it'll go lower. Niles had some issues here. I mean, not Nile, but uh, there, there is some controversy going on in China right now with regulations and I think there's 200 electric car companies. So they're all gonna, some of them are going to fail and some of them are going to go strong. I think Nile will be on that top list, but it needs to have a little correction. That's Nile. The next one we'll look at, let me see here on the old EV watch list. Well, here's the Nile website. You can always check it out. Nile, they have their cars on here, everything else. But I want to show you exactly what happened today with Nile. On the chart, we pulled exactly right back to that 38.64 that I talked about in the pre-market alert, and she went ahead and took off from there. So if you were able to watch that pre-market alert, you're a Nile fan, you had a wonderful chance to get in a great entry right there at 38.64. It even had a good reversal pattern going on once that big candle came in, that engulfing candle came in after the spinning top. And I mentioned this in the room. I said, this thing get ready to take off. That spin in top and then this next candle. And then we'd build a little resistance right up here. And once it busted past that resistance, that could have been, you know, less experienced uh, trader entry. I would have personally took it down here off the spinning top myself. But that's the spinning top doji. And that ran on up. So that was a good call from that pullback this morning. Now, what's it going to do now? Once we got up here, I see the tape's a little red. So let's get this all figured out here. Let's bring this to a 20 day. Perfect call is what I'm trying to say. I called it down here in this channel right down here where we had all these bottoms. And that's how I found that call. So she did bounce up pretty good and she might pull back a little bit. I want to still keep this pivot point area right in here as a support level. 43.65. If that fails... We could come back down here again and have a double bottom of right around that $38 level, $38, $39 level. So keep that in mind. Um, hard resistance is going to be up here right around the $53, $54 area. So I'll remember that too. When we got to break this resistance right here, as you can see, it pulled back right there. So that's kind of like a hard resistance at $49.34. So if it pulls back, Strong buy maybe at 43.65 or a double bottom down here in this channel. And if it breaks out, we got to break this resistance right here at 49.14 and bring it up to this area up here and sell it at 53.78. And that's Nile. I love this car, but I love Tesla a lot more. I made a good trade on Tesla today too. So, I love stocks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that like button if you like it. Hit that hate button if you hate it. I've got a Twitter link right here on I Love Stocks. We've gathered some more followers today. We're at 5,700 now. I think we had 5,690, so we gathered 10 more today, which is good. We're here to help the inexperienced trader the most. We're not a pump and dump station. We tell you why we get in and why we get out. And always remember... We love stocks.